All right, so this video we're going to look at finding the inverse of logarithmic functions. All right, so to do that, we're going to use this switch and solve method. Uh, the first thing we do is we change f of x to y, and then we swap the x's and y's. We interchange x and y. Any, everywhere there's a y, that's a, that becomes an x, and the x's become y's. And then we solve for y, and then we, after we solve for the y, we change y to the f inverse symbol. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. All right, so we've got f of x equals log x base 3. So just like it said, it says change f of x to y. All right, so we get y equals log x base 3. And then we swap the x's and y's. So we get x equals the log of y with base 3. <coughs> and then we solve for y. Okay. Well, remember your property that says y equals the log of x with base b is equal to b to the y equals x. Remember going from logarithmic to exponential and exponential back to logarithmic? You've got to use this property here. <clears throat> so if we convert this, well, it's just b raised to the y equals x. So that's going to be 3 to the x equals y. So 3 to the x equals y. And so I've solved for y, and now I change y to the f inverse symbol, and I'm going to write it over here on the left side of the equation. And so I get f inverse is equal to 3 to the x. All right, let's take a look at another one. I've got, we got four more to do. All right, so first thing, change f of x to y. So we get log 2x plus 3 with base 5. Okay. And then I swap the x's and y's. So x equals log 2x plus 3 base 5. I'm sorry. How about 2y plus 3? Swap the x's and y's. And then we solve for y. So let's take this and convert it to exponential form. So that's going to be 5 to the x, 5 to the x equals 2y plus 3. And then we solve for y. So I will subtract 3 to both sides. <clears throat> so I got 5 to the x minus 3 equals 2y. Divide both sides by 2. And so I get y equals 5 to the x minus 3 over 2. And then we change the y to the f inverse symbol. So that's 5 to the x minus 3 over 2. And this would be our inverse. So here's example 3. Let's change the f of x to y. So I get y equals 2 log x minus 3 with base 4 plus 5. Okay. So then we swap the x's and y's. So x equals 2 log y minus 3 with base 4 plus 5. Now, if you, would re if you remember before, we would just go ahead and convert it to exponential form. But we can't do that here because we have the log. We don't have the log by itself. We've got to get rid of the 5 and the 2. We've got to get them over here to the other side. So first thing, I'm going to subtract 5 to both sides. So that gives me x minus 5 equals 2 log y minus 3 with base 4. Then to get rid of the 2 I'm going to divide the 2 to both sides. So I get x minus 5 over 2 equals log 
y minus 3 with base 4. Okay. Now we can convert it to exponential form. So remember to do that, that's going to be the base of the log raised to this power. So that's going to be 4. It's going to be 4 raised to the x minus 5 over 2. And that is going to equal the log of y minus 3. I'm sorry, not log y minus 3, just y minus 3. All right. So we're, we're still solving for y, so I need to add 3 to both sides. And so that's going to give me y equals 4 raised to the x minus 5 over 2 plus 3. And then we change the y to f inverse. I'm not going to rewrite the whole thing again. I'm just going to erase this y and replace it with the f inverse symbol. And so this would be your inverse. All right, so two more. All right, we've got f of x equals the log of x minus 2. All right, so first thing, change f of x to y. So y equals log x minus 2. And then we swap the x's and y's. So x equals log y minus 2. And then we convert it to exponential form. Well, if we look at this, notice there's no base there. But we know when we see log and there's no base, it's understood to be what? A 10. Okay. So now we convert it. So that's 10 to the x. So 10 to the x equals y minus 2. And then we solve for y. So I'm going to add 2. And so that gives me y equals 10 to the x plus 2. And then we change the f inverse, I mean the y to the f inverse symbol. So that's 10 to the x plus 2. Okay. All right, last one. Here we've got f of x equals 2 natural log x minus 3. All right, so change the f of x to y. So that's 2 natural log x minus 3. Swap the x's and y's. So x equals 2 natural log y minus 3. All right, so once again, we can't convert this to exponential form because we don't have the log by itself. Okay. So I need to get it by itself, so I'm going to add 3. So that gives me x plus 3 equals 2 natural log y. Then divide both sides by 2. So I get x plus 3 over 2 equals natural log of y. All right, so remember natural log, do you remember what the base is understood to be? It's understood to be an E. Remember, natural log of something, this is the same thing as log X base E. This and log base E. Ln and log E are the same thing. So it's understood that there's an E right there. Okay. So if we convert it, that's going to be E raised to the X plus 3 over 2 equals Y. So then we change the Y to the F inverse symbol. So that equals E to the X plus 3 over 2. And there is your inverse. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and uh, give the video a share. Thanks for watching.